Inside this little pot is a negative temperature coefficient thermistor. And what we're going to do is change the temperature using hot and cold water. Take the thermometer out, add some hot water, put the thermometer back in, and measure the temperature. It'll take a while for the temperature to rise, and as the temperature is rising, hopefully, you'll see the two meters change. Okay, the temperature's rising. Still rising. Still rising. And the first reading is 51 degrees centigrade. Add a little cold water. Give it a stir, and the temperature is falling now to 44 degrees centigrade. A little more cold water. Give it a stir. And that is now 38 degrees centigrade. A little more cold water. Give it a stir. Again, the temperature is falling. This time it's fallen to 34 degrees centigrade. A little more cold water. A stir. Temperature has now fallen. Give it a chance just to settle. Temperature has now fallen to 30 degrees centigrade. And finally, we'll add the rest of the cold water. One final stir. Temperature's not dropping too much now. We're down to 27 degrees centigrade. So we can now calculate the resistance knowing the voltage from the voltmeter, the current from the milliameter, and we can then plot resistance against temperature.